I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 29th of March. Looks like the better chance of rain will come tomorrow and maybe some severe weather early next week. So a lot to talk about. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with the Skycam Network. There's the look at downtown Fayette on a calm late March morning in our state. Down to the south, there's a look at downtown Clanton in Chilton County, where things are nice and calm. And finally up in Haleyville in Winston County, things are looking good. Got the flat ridge in place. That means another warm day today with low 80s. The primary wave action is up north. Peak of temperatures this morning, pretty uh, pretty mild out there as the uh, cold air is being pushed up into Canada and the warm air kind of takes over. We'll expect low 80s today. And over the weekend, we're looking at mid 80s as we uh, end March and begin the month of April. Boy, it's quiet around the nation. Just no severe weather, flooding, winter storm issues this morning. Just some patchy problems, including a dense fog advisory down in South Alabama. But later today, severe weather possible from near Childress, Texas to Wichita, Kansas City, St. Louis, Omaha. Tomorrow, risk of severe weather for cities like Louisville and Cincinnati. Day three, which is Saturday, no formal risks, just a couple of low-end uh, spots there. And Uh-oh, look at here now. This is day five, which is uh, Monday into Monday night and early Tuesday morning. We've got a risk of severe weather across uh, the western part of Alabama and points west, and we'll review that possibility as we get uh, the model output here in just a moment. And there's the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening at 7 o'clock, and uh, the numbers have come up a little bit. Rain amounts of uh, three-quarters of an inch to one inch expected around the state, and a lot of that now appears to be wanting to come down tomorrow, as you'll see. But at least the model clarity is better. Let's take a look. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. There's a little energy off to the west over uh, Louisiana and Arkansas, but the main action is up north and down below that. A warm day today, low 80s, and there might be a shower on radar this afternoon in spots, but uh, they should be pretty widely spaced. But tomorrow, that little wave action affects the state with a better chance of showers and storms. And we're getting very good model agreement now. That that will be the day with the best coverage of showers and storms. Highs drop back in the 70s with clouds. Severe weather not expected. Probably one to two hours of rain. And the rain could come at any time during the day. So if you have plans outdoors tomorrow, be aware that that uh, will offer some rain at times. And now all of a sudden, the weather on Saturday looks pretty good. Uh, this is the GFS showing the main action off to the east. And uh, there could be a few, you know, isolated showers if this is right. But um, all in all, it should be a pretty decent day. We'll check the NAM solution. Uh, this is tomorrow on the NAM, and it looks fairly wet. And there's Saturday bone dry. And by golly, it's had it right all along. So we'll give an attaboy to the uh, North American mesoscale model. Uh, Sunday, warm and dry. Boy, the thickness value support mid-80s, maybe upper 80s in parts of West Alabama, so summer-like weather for sure on Sunday. We note the cold air moving into the West. All right, Monday. Now, you know, every run has been looking different, how this whole thing evolves. Now we've got kind of a non-phase look with a very strong bit of energy on the uh, Red River separating Texas and Oklahoma. And uh, there's a surface low developing in Oklahoma City at midday Monday. We'll go to Monday night at midnight, and uh-oh, boy, that looks like trouble. Goodness, this is uh, the late night of April 2nd, prime tornado season. Vigorous surface low at Harrison, Arkansas, and that would suggest a severe weather event Monday night uh, for parts of Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, ultimately moving in here during the pre-dawn hours Tuesday. We'll go to 6 o'clock Tuesday morning. The surface low fills a little bit north of Memphis. And then by uh, midday Tuesday, the surface low is weaker, lifting away, and things are winding down. But if this is right, we could very well be burning the midnight oil Monday night with a severe weather event, like we really need that next week. Uh, but again, I caution you, the runs have really looked different. Uh, but the idea is certainly supportive of severe weather, and SPC has put that outlook out now. So we'll have to certainly put the idea on the table. Uh, Wednesday of next week, well, guess what? The big long wave trough over the east, the idea is off the table again. It's on, it's off. 
Uh, again, I firmly believe we're going to have a late season cold snap, whether it's next week or the following week. I don't know, but climatology just suggests that. Uh, we'll look down below that, and there's no cold air. This is right. Highs in the 70s, and there's a week from today just showing nothing. So I'll check the uh, European for the middle of next week, and it's in pretty good agreement. It's got the cold air well to the north. So now both the European and the GFS are keeping the idea of a frost or a freeze off the table for next week. But we'll keep watching. And again, growers, I still say you need to watch the forecast carefully for the first half of April. We'll check uh, April 10th. And again, there's a higher amplitude pattern developing. This is uh, Tuesday, April 10th, ridging over the central U.S., troughing over the east, colder air dropping in here at that point. But again, that probably would not quite support a freeze or frost. And on the 13th, the pattern flattens, and that looks mild and kind of showery. But let's just keep an eye on things out there. The you know, model consistency is horrible in the longer range. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock this evening. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.